Welcome to a presentation by Life Organization. Before we begin our greatly entertaining show, make sure you have turned off your mobile phone, and do not at any point during this show discuss how sexy this voice is with your friend. Thank you. Everybody, I am here to talk about life. Well, the story starts off with Haro International School, Bangkok, Thailand, next to the lake, that is, our school, who recently made an excellent decision to add an extra line to our motto, and work for the environment. To do this each house was assigned with a task, and life was created after this. What happened was that the Syriatai Environmental Committee decided to sit down, and then decided to think of the environment around us. The problem was we all pretty much thought the environment around us was pretty ugly and scary with things like George W. Bush, pollution, global warming and worst of all, the increasingly quickly melting ice cream. It was a sad picture and we thought, gosh, we would like to live in a friendlier environment, and abracadabra. The Syriatai Environmental Committee gave birth to life, which is living in a friendly environment. I know, I know you all are like oh my god that is so cool. We also felt a sense of great self-fulfillment until the following conversation occurred. Yes it was then that we thought of the objective on our hands. We first thought, why was it important to reduce petrol consumption? Well petrol as we all know is a polluting resource but more importantly it is a limited resource, and we will soon run out of it. I know you all are thinking that, oh well, so I won't be able to drive as much. I'll just have to buy a hybrid car and a wood stove. Well, it isn't that simple. When petrol runs out, it is not only the cars and electricity that are affected but almost everything around you that is part of your lifestyle. This is because oil is such an important part of the production and transport of goods. Therefore life after oil will be much like it was in the 1800s 10 to 12 hour work days 6 days a week. Not enough food or goods for everyone. Hospitals will be more like voodoo doll shops. There will be no TV, no computer, no internet, no Xbox, no Korean pop stars, no movies, no clothes, etc. And then because of this crazy situation where we won't be able to produce anything the world economy will collapse into a depression greater than the Great Depression, which would mean all human beings will basically go monkey and go to war with each other and everyone will probably die and cockroaches will rule. I am pretty sure you all are now convinced about how serious this stuff is, and if we do not take action now it might be too late, but do not worry, because life is here to rescue you, as it hearts you. However, unfortunately I cannot continue and tell you more about what LIFE has come up with, I know it is sad, but please do not cry, I am sure you will like the three members of life about to take over the show, bye bye.